Today I want to talk about Tudor being a homage brand to Rolex. After the latest Tudor new watches releases from Watches and Wonders 2022, there were a lot of talks about Tudor being a homage brand to Rolex, uh, the Rolex homage brand. The reason behind these talks is the new releases like Black Bay Pro and GMT Root Beer. But all these talks are really surprised me, because you know, Tudor was made as a homage to Rolex. I cannot possibly know what Hans Wilsdorf had in mind when he registered brand Tudor in 1926, but people who are into watches hobby know what Tudor was for many years. It was exactly that, a homage to Rolex. The general idea behind the brand was the people who wanted to have a Rolex quality but could not afford or did not want to pay a premium for a tool watch would have an option to get themselves a watch with similar quality, a Tudor watch. True tool watch with affordable price tag. Tudor even used exactly the same cases, uh, even with Rolex brand on the cases and crowns. So it is always been a homage to Rolex, more or less. In fact, Tudor used to be even more homage company than it is right now. They always had very similar models to Rolex. Take Submariner, Oyster Prince, for example. But at the same time, Tudor was producing some unique models as well, like Ranger, Tudor Heritage Chrono, Tudor Advisor. The only major difference back then was that Tudor was using non-in-house ETA movements, mostly ETA movements. That's how they could reduce the cost. Today, they developed their own movements. They are partnered with Breitling about movements. Today, Tudor takes heavy inspiration from vintage Rolex models and actually vintage Tudor watches as well. Tudor is filling the holes made by Rolex with its discontinued watches. Or they just simply fill the need that Rolex never did. Tudor Royal, for example, is inspired by Oyster Quartz, in my opinion. A perfect mix between Datejust and Oyster Quartz. One of the reasons I love my Tudor Royal 38mm. Black Bay 32, 36, 41 is the explorer that Rolex never had. The updated uh, steel and gold Black Bay 32, 36, 39, 41 is a direct com competitor to Rolex Explorer 1 again and also to Oyster Perpetual. Tudor Chrono is the competitor to Daytona. Black Bay 58 is a submariner in 39mm case with vintage spirit, but it is also a tribute to an older Tudor diver model. They also play with case sizes and materials more freely. 36 and 41 millimeter case sizes within the same model lines like Black Bay 32, 36, 41. Or models like Tudor Royal and 1926. They have variety of case sizes from 34 to 41. With the recent rapid popularity of the brand, many people who came to Tudor because of hype don't know the history, I think. The brand was always in the Rolex shadow before. Before its recent popularity, it's been a sort of insider's brand, a brand for Rolex fans and watch nerds. There were some rare Tudor collectors out there. Yes, Tudor take inspiration from Rolex, especially from Rolex vintage models, making their watches a true alternative to the famous Brick Brother. But it's funny thing because Rolex, they never coming back to their uh, vintage models. They uh, let them rest and they don't do it. Uh, with the exception actually with Rolex Explorer 1 that they did last year, introducing again Rolex Explorer 1 in 36 millimeter case before it was a 39 millimeter case. But with Tudor, it's like a perfect mix between uh, Rolex vintage models and Tudor vintage models. And they have this uh, mix together and they bring in a new beautiful watches to the market. Unlike watches brands like Steinhardt that just taken a pure copy of Rolex's models, Tudor don't just simply copy Rolex, they uh, mixing it with something new and they bringing it to the table. So you cannot accuse Tudor of making homage models to Rolex because that's exactly what it was born to do. They have all rights to do so. In fact, today in the current model lines, Tudor making more changes to their models versus they did in the past. 
You can take, again, for example, uh, Rolex uh, Datejust and uh, Tudor Oyster Prints. It's almost exactly the same models. And they even have uh, Rolex's branding on the cases. So uh, today, what you're getting from Tudor, you're getting uh, same idea that it was uh, before in the olden days. But before, you couldn't afford, for example, you couldn't afford Rolex. That's why you were turning to Tudor because it was a similar quality and um, uh, with affordable price. But today what we have in the current market that you cannot simply buy a Rolex even if you have a money because it's not available at ADs, it's not available at stores. You have to uh, jump through the hoops in order to get your Rolex or you have to pay double or triple retail price in order to get a Rolex that you want. So. Uh, in this case, what you do, if you want a similar uh, idea behind the watch, if you want a similar tool watch, the watch that you actually can buy, the watch that you actually can get without pay, paying like ridiculous amount of money uh, over a retail price, you simply go to Tudor. It's a very good watch. It's a fairly affordable watch and you can actually buy it at the store and you don't have to pay this crazy amount of money. You don't have to go to gray market in order to get model that you want in most cases they are available to public you can actually buy a watch and enjoy it so there you have it a similar idea and it is valid again not only because of the price but because of the ridiculous and availability of rolex watches at the dealer stores so i just wanted to share my perspective about tudor being homage brand to rolex uh, it is actually what it was born to do. <laughs> so I don't see any problem with this. And that's why people love Tudor. That's why people uh, come to Tudor. I understand that there's a lot of people who came to turn to Tudor without maybe knowing this uh, backstory and the heritage of Tudor. And uh, they might get frustrated or upset or uh, seeing it a different way that um, Tudor is copying Rolex or uh, going this way as a how much brand. But that's actually what they meant to do and um, i think today they're doing a pretty great job they don't just copy in exactly the same models as they used to do uh, they bring in something new they bring in something else so today if you want to have like vintage uh, submariner for example but you can't afford to buy it or you can't uh, get it or you even if you can afford to buy it but you don't want to um, spend all your money on a vintage watch which might be not as reliable as a new watch. Today you have an option to get a Black Bay 58, which is almost the same uh, idea with the uh, vintage spirit, with the vintage design, but it is a brand new watch. So you don't have to worry and take care of it. You can use it as a true tool watch. So that's my take on the Tudor being how much brand to Rolex. It's always been like this. If you're new to the game, you probably just don't know the situation. You just prob you probably just don't know the history. You probably just don't know the heritage of Tudor. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Tudor strategy, what you think about Tudor new models. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye now. Take care.